So today on Project Shop, we are back up here in Orlando. Uh, I'm a little bit late. They already got these on the ground, but check it out. Four fixtures, uh, five ballast. <laughs> now, I'll tell right away, the old ones that they keep leaving in here, double copper and get this all these ballasts are so good they're hot they were just they were just running uh, as you can see I got an empty trailer and truck I went back to West Palm um, got home passed out like I was gonna go to the shop and offload it last night and then I forgot to set my alarm thank God something woke me up at like 3 o'clock in the morning so I went to the shop dumped everything off did about 90 all the way up here and um, now this guy actually has to go leave and do an inspection on the last job that I did up here in Orlando I don't know why it's taking so long for an inspection it's like a month ago but I'm gonna help them out by um, delivering these to the poles for them it's easier to do it in my truck rather than their bucket truck and uh, it looks like we might be getting some uh, rain which actually i hope it does rain maybe i can catch up on some sleep because i'm kind of cooked mainly because of all the driving you know it only took me like two hours two and a half hours if that uh get home i ran out of diesel <laughs> my fuel gauge is stuck on full and i was pushing it i knew i should have pulled over uh right around 350 miles I ran out of diesel. Uh, luckily, I keep uh, a can ready to go with diesel, and I got a fuel cell with a bunch of fuel in it, so it wasn't nothing to get back on the road. But now, I'm gonna try to catch up here for a minute, and then what I'll do is, uh, I'll, I'll do like a, a head cam, and uh, show you exactly what I'm doing to get these things apart and condense them down, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay up here now until these guys finish. I probably could have stayed up here uh, and filled out this whole thing, but I did have three quarters of a barrel of transformers because a lot of these, someone just left the ballast right in it, which, hey, I ain't complaining about that. Uh, but I don't wanna overweight anything. I wasn't really concerned about the trailer because all that aluminum was light as shit. Uh, but I did want to go get my work boots. So now we got the proper attire. We might be able to get some work done today. <laughs> Okay, here's the situation. Um, it's like three o'clock. These guys, I thought they were gonna do two more, but I guess they had to go, which I am 
absolutely stoked about because I'm beat. I started at three o'clock in the morning and drove for two and a half hours. I'm on the phone here with Priceline trying to get my refund. I got a hotel, they billed me, and then I get to the hotel and they're like, oh, we don't have any record of you uh, ordering anything. So I pay for it in cash and I call Priceline. I, I told the dude, just give me my money back. And he was supposed to give me my money back plus $10 for an inconvenience. And then he come. Anyway, uh, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll get back on the phone with them. Uh, I was going to do some head cam acts to show you what's going on. I got everything dialed in. Pretty much almost caught up. I got two little things that are processed. Um, it's going pretty good. I got the system down. Now, I am processing these things way more than I've ever processed a light. Like, I'm taking off metal tabs that I would never take off. I'm drilling out rivets. I'm pulling out the reflectors, you know just going way above and beyond because um, I need to stack all this stuff together now I will say um, I for what I got today and I think there's gonna be more we still got a bunch I see a four header one two three four and then some other two headers oh there's five there's more there's there's lights everywhere but we pretty much got this whole side and a bunch of the front done um it's actually been nice man nice and overcast and with a nice little breeze so um i'm grateful for that but i'm gonna be grateful when i go take a nice shower and go to sleep um now i got the back of the truck dialed in really good uh so we're gonna have plenty of space I still have uh, one light to process there, but I, I kept a couple of them not cut so I can stack stuff in them. And then uh, we got all the metal over here. Now tomorrow I'll stack all the metal on the other side to even out the load. And um, I'm kind of glad I did, you know, go back to West Palm One. I got my boots, which is nice because then I could just thrash on shit. Yesterday. When I was here and the day before, um, I don't even know what day it is. Is it Wednesday or something? I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. Um, I had to kind of, you know, take it easy because I had sandals. I, I literally rushed out of trying to get down here or up here. I forgot my boots. So anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up first thing in the morning. I'll tighten this up and we'll do some uh, head cam action. I'll show you exactly what it's taking to get this stuff apart and the process. I'm, I'm doing it to get to this point. It is a lot of tedious work. I ain't going to lie. But um, they are taking a lot of it apart up there, which is nice, as you've seen in that time lapse. And um, I'm getting a bonus, man. Like a lot of the ones that were over here on this side whoever was maintaining them and this is the craziest thing ever um they literally just left the ballast the the old burned up ballast up in there not only that they left capacitors like one of them actually two two of them had like three ballast in them a lot of them had two ballast in them and a lot of them had three sometimes even four bulbs like how freaking lazy can you be you can't even bring the bulb down you just leave them up there well, the bulbs ain't too bad but when you got three extra 20 pound transformers at the top of this freaking pole swinging around in the wind with all these cars and people walking around you're an asshole you know what i'm saying you're making a dangerous situation uh for no reason you know what i'm saying like you know an extra 40 pounds up there may not seem like a lot but the top of them poles are skinny man and uh you know south florida man we'd be getting some wind i don't know if i don't know if i took a video of the one pole up front man one bolt was snapped two bolts were loose and only one bolt was holding the pole that was sketchy as freak man anyway i'm gonna uh i'm just gonna throw a net on this and uh we're getting out of here we're gonna go to the hotel all right, we're back at it. Uh, we might be getting some rain today. Look how fast these clouds are moving. 
I don't know if it's doing any justice on this camera, but they're pretty, they're moving pretty uh, quick. And uh, it did have a little spout of rain right before I got here. And uh, the wind feels good. So what I'm gonna do right now is kind of clean up that side of the trailer because I'm gonna start stacking everything uh, on that side today. And you know, level off everything that's going on here. I do have one more box down in there that I didn't get to yesterday and uh, these reflectors and then I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do with these and um, yeah they got a lot more uh, there's one over there I know for sure there's this one so that's eight more and we got a two header four header four header that looks like a two header two 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 four so there's still a lot of lights um uh, i don't know if they're gonna get to all these today man you know it's it's not looking too good with the weather but um there is going to be another day with wall packs on the back side of this building i don't know when they're going to do that um or if i'm even going to stay for that i'm not sure and the sconce lights, them, them little lights on the front, they're changing over. So I'm gonna get this cleaned up as soon as they're ready. The one guy's not here today, so it's just the two guys that are running the lift. Uh, they're over there building the fixtures right now. Um, I don't know how many they're gonna build, but hopefully enough so we can get started and just start cranking it out. And um, as soon as they get ready, I'll, uh, I'll put on a head cam and show you like when they bring them down what I have to do to, to get to this point you know so yeah it's fun this is definitely uh, way more work than I want to be doing um, I'm definitely gonna be looking into another trailer like something bigger than um, what I have and with sides Maybe just a big old dump trailer or something. Um, or another thing, if I could come up with some type of like portable hydraulic press where I could just crush these boxes down flat with all the shit in it, that would be the ultimate. <laughs> and then I can use that at the shop as well. So that's something I've been thinking about because... Um, it's a lot of open air i mean if you look at this box it's just it's like a two by two box it's just you know there's nothing there it's light like all this weight all this stuff here don't weigh nothing um i i don't even think we have 500 pounds of aluminum i'm gonna i'm gonna clean this up real quick and uh, get some fresh bags it's taking four bags so i got one bag strictly for bulbs we'll take them back to the shop and recover the brass get some brass breakage out of it uh one bag for trash one bag for number two insulated and i am separating the number one every once in a while they have to pull they're pulling all new wires uh out of the pole i did get a nice little chunk of number one but not that much but it's enough enough to separate it you know because it is worth more than twice as much i think i got like 90 cents a pound for number two and a dollar 20 for number one so we definitely want to keep that stuff separated and i have time anyway you know why they're doing their thing um oh looks like the other guy just showed up all right they'll be they'll be getting ready here soon so i got to get on the clean the trailer that one had a lot of water huh a lot of water i got five bottles it's too fishy Wow, that's a nice that's bonus. A bonus, for you. That's a bonus. <laughs> Three balls. <laughs> That's crazy, man.
whoever whoever was maintaining these things was just absolutely lazy I've never seen anything like this before I've seen two ballast in a fixture before but I've never seen three with a bunch of lamps uh, that's just ridiculous I'm actually gonna pull up. Show you guys what's going on here. Getting a nice little chunk of extruded. Oh. I'll have to worry about that later my scrap generator one of my customers gave this to me actually gave me three generators and uh, I got that one running all I did was I think all I did was put gas in it honestly <laughs> keys I locked myself out of the truck yesterday there were some people creeping around here you never know you could be back here working they'll be up there stealing shit out of your truck um, so I always lock my doors that's kind of a habit I got into when I used to cut concrete um, we would always lock our shit because you'd be in it you'd be running your hydraulics into a building working and people would be out stealing tools out of your truck or whatnot. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna put these today. Um, I'll probably make some room here. Move those forward. Once we get a, a base in here, I can probably put some back here. All right. man so we got our, our bag for bulbs we got a lot of bulbs man cut that off this is ridiculous man how lazy can you be you're just stashing bulbs up in here and we seen the guy yesterday the company's name is Ampro. I guess he was driving around watching, kind of looking salty that they were changing these things out to LEDs and he's losing all that service work. Um, put that right there. We're gonna start off with this. That's why you always gotta have big extensions dealing with these lights. that's out get to this okay I'm gonna move on The other day, I wind up taking all these lenses home, back to West Palm, but I think I'm gonna try to find a dumpster. I seen one over there that said recycling. And one thing I freaking forgot, well, two things I forgot when I went back to West Palm that I'm gonna make a note about. One is my earmuffs, because when I, 
cut these with the sawzall, it is ridiculously loud. I got my earbuds out. Um, so that kind of helps, but I, I need some muffs, man. It's just ridiculous. So we're popping these off, and the only re normally I would leave these on, and when I've done these in the past, I've left these on so that I can screw the uh, lids right back on. Now these, thank God I have a whole box of uh, Phillips bit. I've probably broken three or four bits already. And you, you know, you get like one chance with these. And uh, just pop that off. Yeah, I wish I had my magnet so I could separate the steel. I am bringing the trash back. I'm probably going to dump it out on the ground. There's tons of um, steel in there that I'll pull out with the magnet later. We got to hustle. Them guys are moving along. Quit, quit yapping, start working. Just got to be careful. Oh, see? And these things are freaking hardened. Oh, crap. Dang. I tried drilling a couple out and they just smoked my uh, smoked my bit now we're going to fight getting this thing out of here but if I can roll it out like that I can uh, there we go just break it off now these will get a little extra attention here in a minute um okay how do I do it got my little workbench going on now I've been I've been working a couple days now at the back of this trailer and uh, I am definitely wishing it was a little bit taller. <laughs> okay, so what we got here, just clip this little bit of stuff. That's mine. That's the number one. That's the number two. Uh, where are we at here? Take these out. Okay. Ah. Oh. Oh, See? Sometimes you only get one shot. You gotta make it count. That's gonna suck. What we can do is, uh, Maybe cut to it. <clears throat> Try to fatigue that aluminum a little bit. There we go. Uh, that's gonna go with the steel. These. Flatten out. Okay. And I've been able to get all of them. In this box. And all them lenses. Okay. This is all number two. All this stuff here will go in the back of the truck. I do try to pull these off. There is a... An aluminum band 
putting it there. I'm, I'm trying to straighten it out. That's garbage. Now all this stuff, oh, we got one more. And a piece of number two. I mean, this is tedious little catching all that little wire, but it adds up. And then all this stuff is gonna go in the truck, all this heavy weight. Okay. Oh, uh, this is this has got to go in there too. We're gonna have a nice chunk of steel. I'm selling that shit as prepared. Um, all right, let's get the uh, generator set up. They're coming down now. We got our sawzall. Now, I do have a cordless sawzall, but I didn't... Um, I didn't know if uh, I would have enough battery because the cordless sawzalls, man, they cook through them batteries pretty quick up oh, we got rain coming too I'm almost hoping we get rained out so that I can uh, go home I already told him I'm probably going back and, and gonna sell this stuff off tomorrow let me get this this exhaust is so freaking hot I know for sure it'll melt this <laughs> that won't be good So this, the operation you're about to see with the Sawzall is definitely something I've never done. This is the first time I've ever done this. But it is necessary uh, with this small trailer. I almost need like a 40 foot trailer, I think. Got rain coming, man. Smell like marijuana. <laughs> I think unfortunately most of these ballasts are half. Um, I think they're half aluminum, unfortunately. Oh shit, here it is. There it is. Okay. We're going to uh, get our tools out of the rain. Oh, oh, oh. Florida weather is so funny, man. And it stopped. All right. 
Let me, uh... Let me go ahead and roll my windows up. Sure, I got my keys in my pocket. Okay. All right, I'm gonna shut the GoPro off real quick so it doesn't get hot and shut down in the middle of the next side of project. Uh, I'm gonna knock these out, get them prepped to this point, and then I'll show you how I'm uh, splitting them open. Okay, let's fire up the old scrap generator. Ooh, looks like I left the gas on overnight. Hopefully the float didn't uh, stick open and flood this thing out. Awesome, man. Usually it fires up on the first pull. It's a little cold this morning. All right, so what I'm doing here is I learned I was sticking my foot right here and cutting down, but it kept jamming the blade because as I was pushing down, I was pinching the shit. So I'm standing on the inside and just cutting. Close as I can down that side there. Flipping it up. There we go. bent my blade shit it's hot too what's happening is I don't know if you can see it that shit is gumming up the aluminum is gumming up the blade 
I've gone through like four blades already doing this. So you gotta try to hold it out a little bit. Okay, they're on the last one for the day. I'm not even gonna process them. I'm just gonna throw them on my trailer and get out of here. Now, the GoPro died earlier. What I was saying or trying to say when it died is when I stacked these and when I bend them down, I was bending them every other way, meaning um, this one I'm bending so that I can have a lip here. And then the next time it'll be a lip on the other side and vice versa. You know, you can see like this. Lip here, lip there, lip there, lip there. You actually gotta bend it in a certain way. Uh, so we're pretty much uh, just gonna take those lights, throw them right here. We're gonna throw the nets on here. I'm gonna strap down this stuff over here and uh, we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna head back to West Palm. I got some things I gotta take care of real quick. Um, I probably, I don't want to offload this stuff because then I just got to load it back up. I'm probably going to load up all the aluminum that I dropped off at the shop the other day. And I don't know how much energy I'm going to have when I get back. I'd love to crack these transformers tonight, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, but it would be nice because there's a lot of freebies in there, man. Some of these things had two and three transformers. Uh, so I'm going to knock those out and then I'm going to run all the way back up here and uh, they're gonna be taking down the rest of these highlights tomorrow. They are gonna be here Saturday and then they're gonna be here all next week. I can't be here every day next week like I was this week. Uh, I had to push off too much work. Um, so Monday, I'm probably gonna have to do some local work in West Palm and uh, actually go down to Miami and pick up some lights that are waiting for me. And then we'll be back up here probably Tuesday. So uh, this has been a lot of work. Even though they're taking a lot of uh, apart, it still is a lot of work, man. My back is sore from working like bent over all day. You know, cutting them lights up on the ground, bending over on the back of that trailer. If the trailer was another foot higher, uh, it would be sweet, but it's not. So this is where we're at. They're about to come down. I'm gonna get my nets and everything ready and then I'm gonna get out of here, hopefully be back in West Palm uh, at a decent hour. Okay, we made it back safe and sound. Now, I'm worried about that tire. She, she's been ball for a while, but we might change that out before we go to Miami in the morning. Uh, pretty much, there really isn't much to do here. Um, I got these two light fixtures i will um pull them apart i'm probably not even going to cut them what i'll do is just pull the steel out of them and uh you know stack them on top of everything i got about this same amount in the shop uh that i'm going to stack right on here so i kind of got to move all this stuff off real quick but that ain't, that ain't nothing, it's just two big boxes and two piles of that. And then we're gonna stack everything back on here. I am gonna have to take that glass off. Looks like we uh, lost a couple of them on the way. Hopefully we weren't sprinkling too much glass on the highway. Um, but yeah, over here in the shop, we got a mess. There's my poor big trailer. She missing a wheel. I actually cut the uh, spindle off. I was gonna weld the new one on. I went and bought one. The problem was I have a weird lug pattern. It's like five on five and a half or some shit. And uh, nobody had it. The trailer place was closed, so I couldn't go there. I'm gonna have to go there when I get back uh, next week. I'll have to deal with that, unfortunately. But we have an absolute mess here in the shop. We got three quarters of a barrel of transformers here. Um, and then all this aluminum, which is pretty much ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to back the trailer up, load it. I got, what do we got here? Three or four boxes that I think they're pretty much, except for these two, probably stuffed full of stuff. So 
we're gonna have a decent little load to bring down to Miami uh, I need to get this stuff out of the shop because I'm going back to Orlando I don't want to pile that shit in here and offload it you know so we want to load this shit and get it out of here and hopefully we can uh oh man do i got i got a bunch of wires sitting in the ground over there i forgot all about yeah i'm hoping uh if i have enough energy i got some some food cooking real quick and uh i'm gonna take a break kind of decompress from all that driving that's just just about as exhausting as working and then um i'm gonna load this shit on the trailer get that all strapped down ready to roll and then we'll bring in that other drum I'm gonna have to offload the steel last time it was like three in the morning I just threw all that shit on this trailer which unfortunately I'm gonna have to move that twice and throw it back on that trailer maybe Saturday we can go get rid of this shit I don't know but I'm already tired and uh, we got at least two hours worth of loading and unloading that's how long it took me to offload that shit into there and offload the back of the truck you know onto here and get that heavy ass drum on that pallet so we at least got two hours of that and then if i can get them transformers up to the table me and another guy used to do a barrel an hour easy no problem with the pneumatic system so as long as I can get these up on the table, it's probably two hours maybe, you know, cracking these transformers. Getting them to the table and up on the table is like the hardest part. Cracking them, that's the easy part. So we're gonna uh, take a break here and then work on that in a minute. Okay, I got the trailer loaded down and now we are uh, cracking these transformers, or at least uh, we're getting prepared to. Uh, we already got a ton on the table. That was the first drum. This is the second drum. Had a little bit more. Now, unfortunately, uh, I did find two double aluminums, but thank God there was a whole bunch of extra ones in here uh, to make up for the all the one aluminum, one copper. All of these here, these newer looking ones, one aluminum, one copper, unfortunately. Um, so we got to get cracking. It's like one o'clock in the morning. Um, I'm just going to time lapse this and uh, we'll kind of get a weight on the copper when we're done and see where we're at. All right, we made it down to Miami. I'm already uh, offloading this shit. We got this stuff packed on here, man. It was like Tetris, look at all that. Look at all them lights, dad. Now, unfortunately, we cracked them transformers last night. We only got a third of a barrel of copper. Probably a quarter of a barrel, that's a little small container. Quarter barrel of aluminum, unfortunately, it was a lot of aluminum coils way more than i uh would have liked and it's starting to become a problem where i, I don't want to travel to go get these lights no more like this i'm gonna have to start charging you know um but we're gonna get this stuff offloaded and uh i'm gonna get right back on the road i gotta get back to orlando and pick up the rest of these and then they got more coming down next week so it's gonna be like an ongoing thing Okay, here's the ticket for the first four days. Uh, we had 1,689 pounds of old sheet. I got 53 cents a pound for $895.17. 94 pounds of cast aluminum that came from the Transformers, 53 cents a pound. That's pretty much evened out now with the cast and the sheet. 49.82, oh, hold on. We're, we're topping off. I ran out of diesel the other day. Thank God I always, put the extra in there 
and I always keep a five gallon can ready to rock and roll just in case I run out because uh, my fuel gauge stays on full. Uh, then we had the number two copper, 304 pounds. Um, 285, wow, that's coming down. $866.40. Now, last night, we actually, we didn't start cracking those transformers till like one o'clock in the morning uh, or putting them on the table. And it was about 140 when we actually started cracking because we took a break before we started. And then uh, I finished at about quarter after two. So it only took like 40 minutes for me to run them transformers. So we were flying through them. Unfortunately, a lot of that shit was aluminum. Uh, we had 223 pounds of um, extruded aluminum, 73 cents a pound. Uh, 162.79 for $1,974.18. Now, I did have two nights at $56 a night. So let's just call that 120 bucks for the hotel. And uh, two trips back and forth with about uh, $100 in fuel each way. So I am um, $320. Let's just call it $400 with food and everything uh, into this. So we're at about $1,500 uh, in four days. And uh, I'm heading back up there now. And I got to go up there probably next week to get some more stuff. I, I got to take care of some stuff. Um, Monday morning down here in West Palm and then I'm gonna head back up there we're gonna discuss with them guys um, if they can um, put the uh, fixtures inside the building but uh, for now I'm gonna get on the road uh, we got about a three and a half hour trip from South Miami to Orlando so I'm like the road warrior out here <laughs> okay we're back at it uh, with the last light now um, I didn't even break these down because uh, I got a phone call when I was about 30 minutes away saying, hey, where am I? Someone's stealing the fixtures. Now, I'm not even upset about it because uh, I knew if I wasn't here, that was probably gonna happen. Uh, so apparently, while these guys were on lunch, someone rolled up in a van. I don't know if the guy was staking them out, waiting for them to go on lunch, or they just happened to roll by and seen a pile of fucking lights and a big pile of transformers while they were on lunch and uh, they loaded up one whole light fixture and I guess they decided it was too damn big and to put in their van so they just drove around to like two different poles and loaded up like 10 ballast so I got like I think one or two of these or a couple of these still have ballast in it I got like 11 or 12 ballast here or whatever I don't know one two three four yeah, 10 ballast, maybe 11. Yeah, 11. Now, most of these are copper. And uh, we have these ugly-ass lights. They look like they got an aluminum uh, thing in them. But what he's going to do now is uh, try to take that down in one shot. So I'm actually going to have him put it here. I got these nice aluminum arms. I'll get this out of here. I will just leave that in there. Uh, and then look at this uh, brilliant electrical uh, engineering or whatever the hell is going on here. It's, they literally electrical taped the capacitor to the pole on the outside of the protective fixture uh, so it was exposed to the weather. Now, this is probably the same guy that's been throwing all the garbage and lamps and ballots up in these fixtures. Um, it's just the, the, one of the worst uh, electrical maintenance jobs I've ever seen. Whoever's been maintaining this parking lot is about the laziest motherfucker. Um, but hey, you know what? Uh, at least I made out good on that first run. I got all them uh, double ballast. And um, yeah, that's what they said. They said the one, there was four heads and uh, each each forehead had two ballasts in it and then there was another one that had two ballasts in it so he got he got about 10 ballasts and one whole fixture and uh you know what it's probably good that i was 30 minutes out and didn't roll up while he was stealing my fucking copper because uh i honestly don't know what would have went down because um you know how i like to stay with my personal protection and we are as armed as i am now as i am in my shop 
Uh, not that I would want to end someone over some, you know, a little bit of copper, um, but I probably would have gotten out of the truck and beat the dude with a 20 pound transformer, um, you know. But, yeah, we, we, we are not into all that stuff, you know, and violence and shit like that. Oh, oh, he's trying. He's got a little boom crane on there. You know, when I first moved to Florida, I was in a lot of trouble. And to keep myself out of trouble, I um, basically immersed myself into a Kung Fu conservatory place and studied uh, Tiger Claw Kung Fu for like two years. Hardcore. Every waking minute was uh, basically studying Kung Fu and martial arts and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, no, I really don't even need the arsenal that I have, man. I'll break your bones with my bare hands if I catch a cat uh, trying to steal my copper. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I wasn't here when it happened because uh, either I would have beat the dude to death or I would have ran him over with my truck, one or the other. All right, and we got a four header coming down. We're just gonna have him put this shit right on top. Got some nice aluminum. break out my jack I think I'm going to change this tire here I don't know if it's going to make it back it's uh I've seen the, the beginning of some threads oh it's going to be nice hey put it right here man I need to open because I'm going to need that piece yeah okay so you need to flip it around and open it so you need to flip it over or you just, over, right? yeah. Flip it over, make it that, that, that side off. So. Okay, well, I guess they're gonna, they need that tenant like they did them other ones. All right. See what, see what I can do to help them out here. Okay, there you have it. The last uh, of the big lights, or doubles, I think. I think the rest of them are all singles. Um, like this style right here. Hopefully there's a thousand watt transformer in there with some copper. Uh, I got everything kind of netted down and uh, I did change to a spare tire because uh, we got our money's worth out of this one. <laughs> now, I mean, in an emergency, I'll throw that bitch back on there. It's still holding there. And that one there, I noticed it already got a plug in it. So, time for some tires. Is that it? You done for the day? That's it. That's all for today, man. You have to come back uh, Monday, right? Monday. Okay. Perfect. Hey, keep that with you, and I don't know where that comes from. So. That's not your comb? Nope. It's mine now. <laughs> all right. We got a comb. Okay. We're off. A couple bottles short, but we're heading back to West Palm. See you Monday, man. Oh, thank you so much, man. See you Monday. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, we got some body armor fruit punch. These guys are all right. All right. So, we're just going to take it easy. I'm actually kind of tired, man. I think I might have gotten an hour of sleep. How the hell did I get in here? I think I came from this way. I'll go out this way. Um, I think I got like an hour or two of sleep last night, man. By the time I shut down the shop, went and took a shower, laid down. Man, it must have been like 4:30, 5 o'clock in the morning, and then my alarm went off at six, and uh, I was running back over to the shop to grab the trailer, head to Miami. And uh, we drove south an hour and a half, offloaded, got paid, and we drove north three and a half hours. And uh, yeah, man, I'm feeling it. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Now, I would like to uh, crack these transformers 
and get rid of all that steel. Because even though I made $1,900 or whatever it was, uh, I probably got $100 worth of steel, if not more. And probably a good $150 worth of steel, I'm going to say. Um, with those heavy ass plates and then um, the, uh, the transformer steel. And then I have all the number two insulated from the transformers and the light fixtures. Then I have all the number one insulated, which I was debating on stripping. Um, I don't know if I got the energy for all that mess, but you know, minimum, there's there's two hundred and fifty dollars, you know, two hundred. I'd say about two fifty between the wire and the steel uh, left from the first trip. And then whatever we get out of here. So we're gonna tack on another $100 for fuel. So that was like $300 in fuel. And 120. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm lost. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> Look at that cat, looks like he's on acid. Beefy King. They got all kinds of weird. The Drunken Monkey. Uh, all kinds of weird restaurants I've never heard of around here. Uh, very interesting. It's a very busy plaza. And uh, got a lot of thieves. Actually, you know, it's funny. Coming in here, I noticed there was a jail. And then my hotel I stayed in. Man, I'm sitting there wondering why there's so many damn bails bondsmen and police everywhere. Damn jail was right behind my hotel. I almost kind of felt safe leaving my truck outside because literally the fence backed up to the jail fence. <laughs> so, all right, I gotta get, uh, find some GPS and find my way out of here. And, um, Maybe find something to eat. I probably should have stopped in that plaza I was just in, but we just kind of slide on out of here, head back to West Palm, maybe find something to eat. Tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.
gonna get it. Just cut it right in half. Okay. Right. Okay. That's good. Huh? I think maybe I, I, um, I bottomed it out, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, it, and it pressurized. Man, those are good lengths, bro. Okay. I'm just gonna drop this in there and put the spaghetti wire a little smaller. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to do that. <laughs> 